quite exciting, but also concerning. Um, exciting because um, for the next few years, say the next 10 years, as has been informed by the Minister of Finance, uh, we're only going to pay $750 million um, in our debt repayments. Instead of um, 5.8, sorry, instead of 6.3 billion, which we should have paid, that's the whole amount that has been restructured. So from that point of view, we are freeing up money. Um, debt servicing money is being freed up because we could have been servicing this debt over the next few years. So it means that the country has a breathing space. And with that breathing space, what does it mean? It means that we can get more investment in the country. It also means that, um, you know, we can get, see our currency strengthening up and also uh, with the investment, hopefully more jobs are created and re reduction in poverty. So um, what this also means, this is on the part of, um, on the part of immediate implications, but what this also means, um, it means that um, instead of uh, paying at uh, higher rates, for which these debts were contracted, uh, we're going to pay uh, interest rates at 2.5% concessional rates. That's according to the minister's statement. And then also mm -hmm. the maturity um, has been extended uh, by more than 12 years. Uh, so this is really exciting news, but then it is also concerning news because um, the debt has not been written up. It has barely been restructured. And that is understandable because uh, we cannot keep demanding and asking for debt write-offs. Debt is business. Mm -hmm. So how, Which business how, would survive if every time you're asking that we shouldn't pay? No business would survive. So that's the concerning part. So, Professor, during the IMF World Bank meetings here in Washington, D.C., many African countries requested for debt cancellation or restructuring. Zambia has qualified and they are wondering why have they not? What did Zambia do differently to qualify for this? This is a very interesting one. Uh, so the accountant in me <laughs> is thinking this is a case of first in, first out. You know, Zambia was the first country to default on its debt. So uh, it means that Zambia worked quite a lot within this process to try and um, negotiate. And uh, that's really, um, you know, a, a, a an indication of good leadership by the president, but then more by the Ministry of Finance, the Minister of Finance, the Permanent Secretary, and the entire team there. I think they have worked very hard over the last three years to work and ensure that we get to the point where we are at. So I would just say that it's a combination of a number of factors, good leadership, but then also allyship. We have seen um, uh, uh, Secretary of Treasury uh, Janet Yellen, um, you know, standing in mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, putting forth word that, you know, um, Zambia needs to get a breather because things were pretty tough um, here at home. Professor, thank you very much. We'll see what this impact will have on Zambia's uh, pocket, people's pockets. Sombo Muzata is Assistant Professor of Political Science at James Madison University and Carnegie African Diaspora Fellow at the University of Pretoria.